Hi, I'm attorney David McKenzie of the McKenzie Law Firm. And if you or a loved one has been charged with a DUI in Upper Providence, I can help. Now, in the defense of a DUI case, an important part is the cross-examination of the police officer concerning field sobriety test results. That cross-examination should be done at the preliminary hearing stage and should be done in a deposition style examination of the police officer with a court reporter present. It's essential to cross-examine the police officer at the preliminary hearing in such a way that the officer admits that his or her opinion as to the client's passing or failing of the field sobriety test is strictly subjective and cannot be measured against any known standard. And this is particularly true with the walk and turn test that is the subject of uh, this video. Um, an overwhelming majority of officers will admit that their judgment as to pass or fail is subjective. And even with an officer uh, following some type of test procedure, most will admit or claim ignorance of any scientific protocol correlating field test results with intoxication. When dealing with the walk and turn test as a subject of the field sobriety test uh, cross-examination, it's also helpful for the client uh, to have the officer confirm that he or she was unaware of the natural health or natural coordination of the client prior to the field sobriety test since evaluation of those tests presumes that the officer would know either one of them. That concludes today's brief video. I hope you found it helpful. If you have any questions or concerns about your DUI case, feel free to call us at the McKenzie Law Firm. We're here to help.